Tuning a piano. A piano tuner stretches a steel piano wire with a tension of 800 newtons. The steel wire is 0.4 meters long and has a mass of 3 grams. Part A, what is the frequency of its fundamental mode of vibration? Part B, what is the number of the highest harmonic that could be heard by a person who is capable of hearing frequencies up to 10,000 hertz? Now, uh, we're given a piano wire which has a mass per unit length, mu equals m divided by l. So the mass of the wire is 3 grams, therefore it's 3 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms. The length of the wire is 0 0.4 meters. Uh, the tension is 800 uh, newtons. So the propagation speed of uh, sinusoidal waves on this wire would be a square root t over mu, which is uh, 800 times 0 0.4 divided by 3 times 10 to minus 3 uh, square root. And this is equal to 326.6 meters per second. Now, what is the fundamental mode? We have a boundary condition with two fixed ends. So we have node and node here. So we, we can have a node, anti-node, node. So that's going to be half a wavelength. Uh, that would be our fundamental mode. So the length of the wire would be equal to the wavelength, lambda 1, first harmonic, divided by 2. So the wavelength would be twice the length of the wire which is 0 0.4 times 2, that is 0 0.8 meters. The wavelength multiplied by the frequency, lambda 1 times F1, is the propagation speed B. So uh, F1 would be equal to 1 over lambda 1 times V, which is 1 over 0 0.8 times 326.6 meters per second that gives us a fundamental frequency of 408 hertz okay so this is the answer to part a the frequency of the fundamental mode of vibration now the other uh, modes will have an integer multiple relationship with respect to the fundamental frequency. So for the end harmonic, we will have a frequency that is an integer multiple of F1. So uh, you can you can see that the next uh, second harmonic would be node, anti-node, node, anti-node, anti -node, node, and that would correspond to a wavelength of L. And actually, uh, we know that lambda n is 2L divided by n and the frequencies are n times F1. So n is an integer, n times 408. The highest frequency this person can hear is 10,000 Hertz, so it has to be less than 10,000. Therefore, n should be less or equal to 10,000 divided by the fundamental frequency 408 which is 24.5 now we know that n is an integer 1 2 3 etc so we find the maximum n value to be 24 so this is the highest harmonic a person can hear with hearing abilities of uh, a maximum frequency 10,000 Hertz Okay, so uh, a piano tuner is stretching a steel piano wire with a given tension and mass and length are known. We want to know the fundamental frequency. 
uh, we can calculate mu mass per unit length and tension square root of tension divided by mass per unit length is the propagation speed the fundamental mode with two fixed ends its node anti-node node which is lambda over 2 is equal to the length of the wire so the corresponding wavelength is 0.8 meters lambda times frequency is the propagation speed so the frequency is propagation speed that we have calculated divided by the wavelength which is 408 hertz what is the number of the highest harmonic that could be heard if we the maximum frequency we can hear is 10 kilohertz since we have the wavelengths given by 2l divided by n the frequency is given by n times f1 where n is an integer in this case n times 408 should be less or equal to 10,000. So this, the maximum uh, value we obtain here is 10,000 divided by 408 is 24.5, but n is an integer, so the maximum value it can take then would be 24.